there. I hope you're ready to hear another one of my favourite nonsense poems by Edward Lear. Oh, fantastic! Today, let's read The Table and the Chair. <coughs> Send the table to the chair. You can hardly be aware how I suffer from the heat and from the chillblins on my feet. If we took a little walk, we might have a little talk. Pray, let us take the air, said the table to the chair. Said the chair on to the table. Now, you know we are not able. How foolish you talk when you know we cannot walk said the table with a sigh. Ah, oh, it can do no harm to try. I've as many legs as you. Why can't we walk on two? So they both went slowly down and walked about the town with a cheerful bumpy sound as they toddled round and round. And everyone cried as they hesitated to their side. See! The table and the chair have come out to take the air. But in going down an alley to a castle in a valley, they completely lost their way and wandered all the day. Till, to see them safely back, they paid a ducky quack and a beetle and a mouse who took them to their house. Then they whispered to each other, Oh, delightful little brother, what a lovely walk we've taken. Let us dine on beans and bacon. So the ducky and the little, brownie, mousy and the beetle, dined and danced upon their heads till they tottled to their beds. The End. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that poem. I particularly like the part when they danced on their heads. Oh! <laughs> well, I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye!